Hello, so in this video we're going to simulate uh, not having our linking codes inside some of our field topo. So I've already imported uh, a regular CSV field topo into our field book um, in the FB file. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete one of my lines so I can simulate having uh, no linking codes to create my line feature. So I'm going to add it into the field book itself so it acts just like a linear feature would uh, if it was shot in in the field and, and coded properly. So I'm going to right click on all features inside my field book using the explorer pane and I'm going to click new. So this is going to give me the linear feature dialog and this is going to allow me to select all my points that I want to have uh, in, inside that line or all my, my features. So I'm going to go ahead and select with a left click uh, each of my points and do a left click to accept. I'm using the locator button. So this is going to allow me to graphically uh, locate all of my points and add them together in a, in a linear feature or uh, used to be called a, a chain. Uh, you can also key it in if you happen to know the point numbers. You can do some key ins and things like that. Change the linking codes. If you wanted it to be an arc, you could do an arc. Um, any, of the regular, any of the standard um, uh, linking codes that you can use. So I'm going to go ahead and accept this and it's going to create this line for me. Now it's going to be placed on the default uh, field code. So our field code is default. So I'm going to go in and change that real quick. So I'm just selecting the line and it's going to go into our properties tab and under field code it's, it's just under default. So I'm going to put it as drive. This happens to be a drive feature. And so now it's feature coded uh, with the proper feature definition and linking codes like it would have been if it was shot out in the field. So now all I need to do is just right click on my, my field book, create terrain model, and it's going to go ahead and create my terrain model. So for visualization purposes, I'll go ahead and change my feature definition, my terrain model to triangles. And we can see that I have that break line in there um, just like it would have if it was shot in in the field that way. Thanks for watching.